we present neural stress fields for reduced order elastoplasticity and fracture. Elastoplastic and fracture simulation is in general very expensive. It is slow to compute, and also requires large memory cost. Here we show a bread breaking, simulated by the material point method, or MPM. Denote P as the total number of particles in a simulation. State variables of all P particles need to be stored, which requires a huge amount of computation resource. To address these issues, we present a reduced order model using neural fields. Our method reduces the dimension from 3 times P to 6. Our method can handle fracture, as well as a variety of different plastic behavior. We demonstrate dimension reduction by a factor of over 100,000, and time savings by over 10 times. To achieve this, we reduce the full order, high dimensional MPM simulations via three low dimensional manifolds. A neural deformation field that captures the deformation map, a neural stress field that captures the Kirchhoff stress, and an additional neural affine field that captures the affine momentum. All these neural fields share the same latent space. The latent space vector x hat has a dimension of r. This latent space dimension r is much smaller than the original simulation's dimension p. From the latent space vector x hat, we can retrieve the entire deformation, stress, and affine velocity at arbitrary locations. After training, to run new simulations, we only need to evolve in this low dimensional latent space. Therefore, Instead of updating 3p degrees of freedom, we reduce the computation cost by only updating r degrees of freedom to temporally evolve the latent space vector q. First, we inference the network. Second, we temporally update the vector field via reduced MPM time stepping. Third, we invert the network. We showcase our model reduction approach on a variety of different elastic and plastic scenarios. We simulate the tearing of bread under different Young's modulus. Our method can capture the fracture pattern under varying and unseen Young's modulus. With latent space dimension R equals 6, a sample size of 450 particles, we can achieve an overall average error of 1.3%. Compared with the baseline method, our neural stress field directly equips the particles with the bona fide stress that is being used in the MPM setting thus enabling a successful fracture. In the baseline method, stress is obtained via an approximated deformation gradient, which is not what is being used in MPM, and thus results in large errors. Our approach can also handle a variety of different plastic scenarios. We simulate the falling of a column of sand under different friction angles ranging from 20 to 40 degrees. With just 150 sample particles, we can predict the geometry of unseen friction angle with an average error of 0.4%. After training on low-res simulation, our method can directly infer high-resolution results by querying the continuous neural deformation field. Our model is also capable of learning the bouncing back of a squeezed metal due to hardening. Here the latent space dimension R is set to 5. With merely 30 sample particles, we can achieve an average error of 0.5%. Besides, our neural stress field can also accurately capture the stress distribution, extending its usage in fields of engineering. Due to reduced scale of MPM time stepping, the overall runtime is accelerated by 5 times. We simulate a ribbon of toothpaste smeared onto a toothbrush holding at different angles. Here the latent space dimension is 6. Sampling 50 particles yields an average error of 0.6%. The sample size can be even reduced without too much discount on the overall visual quality. We compare the results obtained from sampling 15 and 30 particles. Sampling 30 particles yields an error of 0.9%, and the result is almost indistinguishable visually compared with the ground truth. Our addition of neural stress field and neural affine field also plays an important role in capturing complex self-contact and significant rotation. Here we compare our approach with the baseline approach in two scenarios. We simulate slicing a piece of cake. With a latent space dimension of 6, and an average of 550 sample particles, we generate vivid cutting scenario with an error of 1.3%. Further. Thanks to the significant dimension reduction, we achieve an overall speedup of more than 10 times. 
Finally, we showcase some more aggressive extrapolation and generalization experiments. In the bread tearing example, the problem parameter is the Young's modulus of the material and weak elements are inserted to help with fracture. Here generalization test is to employ unseen weak elements. In our current pipeline, a mild perturbation on the weak elements would yield a decent result with a total position error of 2.7%. Nevertheless, the deployment result suffers from significant errors if we aggressively perturb the weak elements. Several extrapolation tests are also performed for the SAND experiment. In the training dataset, the simulation with the largest friction angle of 38.5 degrees is shown on the left. Our approach provides robust results under a reasonable extrapolation of 44 degrees, with an error of 1.8%. Under an extreme extrapolation of 55 degrees, our approach will nonetheless suffer from large errors.